<laughs> Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. <laughs> I'm Ryan, Ryan Seymour. Apparently, we watched the same soap opera. <laughs> Listen, when school was out, you go home to grandma's. The stories Whatever are she on. watches is what you're watching. Yeah. All right, I'm just saying. Yeah. She had good taste though. Stories, the right, yeah, the right channel. Hey, hey, <laughs> I, I always question where my name came from. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Dude, how are you doing? <sighs> Pretty decent. Man, so, uh, I missed you guys last week. Yeah, I yeah, did. yeah. I we, did. You, you, you phoned it in, but I uh, did. It was a true phone. It was. It was probably a big sacrifice because you were at what Meltdown Comics, and yes, then you went to an after party, and then there was like a comic convention in San Diego. There was a few things um, that happened. DC stage or something. Like a little bit. Like I was a little busy. Yeah. Okay. Little, little teen, tiny bit. Way to sacrifice. I mean, I did what I can. You know, that's <laughs> for y'all. With I much love y'all. <laughs> with all the love in the world, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, okay, because I sound like a yeti a little yeah. bit, um, and that's why. So yes, I had a very busy week. But what we are reading is my pools yes. from this past yeah. week. Um, at San Diego, I was able to roam around and check out um, some smaller press guys that may not get some love yeah. in, on the regular, you know, scope of things. Yeah. They're not necessarily, you know, distributed through Diamond or or um, the book's not quite out yet. So yeah. I'm trying to get a little precursor yeah. love for some titles, um, and we we, we kind of took a stab at them, which was pretty yeah. cool. So thank you for letting me do that because oh. no, you're no, like, no, we got Marvel and DC stuff to read, son. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna review Secret Empire again. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. It's on, it's we'll on our pile. That. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Um, all right. So what do you want to do first? Which one? Which one do you want to do first? I kind of want to end with Moonstreak. Okay. Because that was okay. my favorite. Was that your favorite? Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was really, really good. Um, okay. Just for friendlies to get it out of the way, yep. let's talk about Jupiter Jet. Jupiter Jet. Yep. Um, this one's from Action Lab. Yep. It's written by Jason Inman and Ashley Robinson, who, if you guys are watching us on YouTube, you may have seen them on YouTube. Yep. Uh, Jason is one of the co-hosts on DC All Access, and Ashley is one of the uh, uh, commentators on Collider, yep. which is pretty cool. Um, so they've teamed up. Um, they're actually a husband and wife team, which oh. is really cool. Yep. Um, the comics, that, or the family that makes comics together, makes comics together. together. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't have a thing. Uh, yeah. I, didn't, I, I lost it. Didn't plan that far. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so with this one, we've got the rocket pack yeah. jet setting Jupiter jet. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, like a rocketeer, yep. but less steampunky, more World of Tomorrow-ish. Ooh, good call. Kinda. Good call. And it's rated E. One, one of the things I like about Action Lab yes. is like Marvel's got their their rating system. Mm -hmm. A is for all ages, whatever what everybody thinks. They have a, a key on right, the, inside the inside cover. cover. And like, this is exactly what right. it means. And you can see simple. the E on the front, and so yeah. you can see exactly what it means. Yep. Um, for me, it reminded me of in the in the old 90s. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the afternoons, um, on weekdays, I would actually have like a block of Disney cartoons that would play. Things like Darkwing Duck, um, uh, DuckTales, Duck and yeah. Tailspin, yeah. you know, stuff like that. And it kind of had that vibe to it. Yeah. So um, if you are interested in a throwback kind of piece, that one definitely is. Um, it'll it'll take you back to your childhood. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was a good time. Yeah. I'd feel confident giving it to my kids to read. There you go. See if they like it. You know? Yeah. Never know. Yeah. It's, it's, we'll see. Now, that one is one that I don't believe um, is out yet. Like, this okay. was a... a, de a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, yeah. um, but it should be coming at some point. Okay. So I'll keep an eye out for it, find out from them when it's coming. Yeah. Um, but all right, so next, next. This is Rideau Moonstreak last. Yeah. Okay, so That's I'll be honest, I cannot remember how to say this exactly. I don't know if it, it's Okimus or Akimus. Yeah. I, don't, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, O A, or sorry, O K E M U S. Right. Yes. Um, and it's from. Uh, Ar red, Ar yeah, Ar Arcus. Ar yeah, I think it's a red Arcus. We Ar suck at our jobs. Yeah, we do. Like we really, really bad, terrible. but we can't get fired. Um, <laughs> this was <laughs> this was written by T.J. Sterling. Yeah. Um, that's who I actually met. Um, he did the writing. I think he did the artwork as well. I think so. Um, and uh, he was actually the first person I bought books from. Um, it was funny. He he preyed on me because we were both light skinned black dudes, and he was like, <laughs> like he, we made eye contact. Yeah. He's like, oh no, oh, ah, yeah. oh, ah, you gotta come over and talk. I was like. Um, but no, he's a really nice guy. Really nice guy. Um, now, for what I understand, this series is like, or the issue that we read yeah, is like a zero, a zero issue, yeah. and then the rest of the series picks up. Um, and I think there's like a time gap actually between okay. when he did them. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm very in eager to read one and two because um, he was telling me that like his approach to storytelling got better, and I'm like, okay, that's yeah. cool. Um, so. Where he is in this, um, with this series, we are in a post-apocalyptic yeah. world, very different yeah. sort of place. Um, 
humans and machines are meshed in yeah. some there's like cases. Knights or some kind of yeah. like fighting class that, that will help humanity. Right. Um, the bad guys are called Makai. Yeah. Um, and they are really trying to wreck shop. And we've got yeah. this one lone guy that's really trying to turn the tide. Yeah. Um, from what I understand, though, there are others that are soon to okay. join the fight. So that's what so, I thought. Was, yeah. was some hints at that? Yes, yes. Um, those were, I got a poster that kind of suggested oh, things. Nice. So I might know a little bit more than I'm supposed to, but um, but no, this was a very interesting read. Um, you can you can kind of feel the, the first attempts there. Like, yeah. um, definitely one of those things where if you are an up-and-coming comic creator, you have to have a foundation to build and grow off of. And that's one of the things I appreciate yeah. is when you do your first book, it will not be as, as great as your last book. You know what I mean? And so I appreciate the fact that TJ got this one out there and now he's building up. So I definitely um, really you know, hold true. Like He had a solid foundation, so I'm very interested to see what new pieces yeah. are adding to this puzzle. So yeah, that's really... It's really cool. Yeah, because for the for the the setting, I got kind of like a like a fist of the North Star kind of call. Kinda thing. Good call. But then mixed in with with the way the the, the Mackay and the un, and the powers and the armors, right? Like kind of like a Rom Space Knight kind of thing, nice, where like nice. fighting supernatural. I would have went, went the Giver. A oh bit. yeah, yeah. yeah. that the one Giver. might be better. But not 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 off. Yeah. Not off at all. I mean, yeah. Rom is definitely a good. Yeah. it's a good link. You know, it's not a. <laughs> Rom Space Knight, you're like, no, don't oh, rob me, sucks. don't do that, Ooh, I'm hurt. Rom's um, pretty good stuff. Yeah, no, that was that was really good. So I'm definitely going to continue reading yep. um, the two books that I have. Uh, I might let you read them. I might let you that would be nice. That would be very, very nice. Very nice. nice. I like to um, Moonstreak. Am I allowed to say damn? Do it. Damn. That, yeah, that was, was a good. really, 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 good. really, really good book. It was really, really good. Um, this is from, what's the imprint for this one? Uh, Guardian Night Comics. Guardian Night Comics. Um, it's got a cover price of $1.99. That's, that's solid. Under two bucks. Yeah, that's solid. Find yeah. these guys. Yeah. Do it now. Um, that's cover price. Like That's not even like convention price. Yeah, that's, that's cover that's price. That's what's, what's written on the, on the front. Right. Um, art was stellar. Oh, my gosh. Um, this one's got two writers. Um, it okay. has uh, Rogers Hartman, and yes. the best writing team, yes. and Talbo is the, uh, the artist. Yes. Um, wow, Marvel and DC are probably going to hit, hit that dude up soon because yeah. he's... Solid it, or she? I don't yeah. even know. I don't even know. Yeah, it's like whoever it, the artist is. Solid. It, the, the art, the the story. Um, I don't even need to know what was fully going on. Right. To right. like the fight scene, it, it felt like kind of uh, like the heavy metal comics. Right. Uh, that mixed in a little bit of hard boiled. Not ooh, not, not, ooh. not the movie hard boiled. No, no, no. But, but the comic. Yeah. Yes. So many lines. Yeah. Jeff Darrow. Yeah. But it, it worked. I was yes, like sucked yes. in immediately. I was I was into that world. It was solid. I okay. I'm not gonna lie. They as a throwaway name. They actually use a character's name that I was planning on using, oh. which is so funny. Like I had yeah. no idea this was the case. So it's awesome. And then some of the other character names that they have are just brilliant. Yeah. Like they're like invincible brilliant. Yeah. Like how you know the the cabal of of evil that yeah. they had. Genius. Yeah. Genius names. Um, I love the dude with the boombox <laughs> on his yeah. shoulder. It's so, yeah. it so stupid. It's great. Like, yeah. I was like, yep. I should never react to the sight of a rat. Yes. <laughs> like the way I did to this. Yes. Like, yeah. yeah. Like that was, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. It was very, very awesome. Um, yeah, man. I, I got some pretty good books, man. Yeah. Um, shout out to you guys that are doing it. Um, as a fellow indie creator, I thoroughly appreciate you being out there and especially attacking such a big show like San Diego. Yeah. Like um, Big stuff. Yeah, like when you say San Diego, you're thinking, you know, movie premieres and special trailers yeah. and fun things like that. You're not thinking cutting edge indie comics, but yeah. there, there you go. go. That's it right there. So good job. Good, good job, guys. I think it's time for some honorable mentions. mentions. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> this is a tale of two cities. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Let's talk about Secret Empire because... We're gonna get that out of the way. Yeah, something that we predicted. Yes, did yes. happen, kind of, sort of. Only, I'll be honest, I didn't finish reading it, because. <laughs> and what makes it so bad is that is the book that I'm suggesting we do for the Patreon spoiler. Because there's a lot of stuff that happens. Yes. But there's a lot of things that, like you pointed out, like, like why would you? Wait, why? Would why, you, why is this even a? That's thing? like the easiest fix. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so, Secret Empire happened. Next. All right. So, <laughs> the real. Here we go. Here we go. Shirtless Bear Fighter number two. 
It's the truth. It's it's the way, the hope, it's the light. <laughs> this, okay, I'm going to be honest. This is how I feel about this. I don't feel like it's possible to write this book. I feel like this has to be some sort of weird conversation that just happened yeah. amongst friends that somebody turned into a comic book. Yeah. You can't, you can't make this happen. Like, yes! You can't make that happen. <laughs> Different bears. So many bears. So many bears. Bears, um, <sighs> big bears, little bears, bears that climb on rocks, all, um, all different species. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first off, this book is not for children. It is not in any way, shape, or form for children. No, don't don't do that. Don't think because Dude. it's bears, you're like oh, look, oh bears, bears, hey. like bears, 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 bears. 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 My no, kid no, loves no. that show. No, 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 no. 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 The, uh, the Although butter. there's significantly less of something in this one than in the first yes, one. Yes, but there is a variant cover that shows. Oh, dang. Oh, <laughs> it, dang. It's amazing. I, I think it's Scotty realize. Young. Oh, yeah. oh. So it's even So it's better. Baby? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's so bad. Okay, so oh. this book is amazing. It, it's absurd. It's like Axe Cop level absurd. Yes, it is. <laughs> and for it not to be written by the same team, right. like that's the part that kills me. Yeah. Like how is it that there are two people in this world that are that awesome? Yeah. That's not fair. Like who comes up with the butter thing? Right. Oh, like, that, oh. I shall never unsee the butter thing. It just, oh. Yeah. It's <sighs> pretty nasty. <laughs> Once you read it, you'll know. You'll yeah. know. Yeah. Um, Oh, it's so bad. It's, yeah. It's so, oh, the visual. Yeah, and they're just there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. It's an amazing read. It's it's hysterical. Like, actually laugh out loud funny. It is. And second, the if you miss number one, the second print for number one, drop this week. There you so go. So you there can you pick go. up so both. You can re -up. And I highly, highly Rub recommend, it. <laughs> recommend it. Rub butter. <laughs> oh, it's so <laughs> bad. It's good. Oh. Um, yeah, dude. Like, this book should come with a beard. I feel should. like it should come with a beer. Like it should something. Yeah, yeah. Was, you oh need some gosh. form of libation in addition to this entertainment because yeah. it's over the top. It's hilarious. It's crazy. It, it's, it's so so good. It's a dude who fights bears. <laughs> shirtless. Shirtless. The bears aren't shirtless. I yeah. mean, they are, they but are. he's he, the shirtless. He's the shirtless one. one. Him. <laughs> and it's the flashbacks. Oh my god. Like, what the? What the heck the happened pancakes, to you, man? Yo, the pancakes. <laughs> like just. Uh, this is good comic yeah. booking right here. Yeah. This is good. Meh. Good. <laughs> 28 pages. Good. Yes. Very good. You like. Yeah. You like it a bears. This you like bears. it bears. Yeah. <laughs> so check it out. If this is your first time watching this yep. show, um, definitely hit the subscribe because we yep. know you like it. Yeah. We know you yeah. do. We're creeping up on 500. <gasps> what? Yeah. We're almost to 500 uh, subscribers. Yo. Come on. Be one of the ones that pushes us right over there to the 500. Oh, oh, yeah. Make it happen. Yeah. And click the bell. Yeah so that you know when we drop new stuff. Yeah, and that's kind of a milestone number, so we might throw something your way once we, we cross that line. What? That's what I've heard. Well then, get us to 500, shall we? Mm -hmm. If you dare, yes. you wanna, you can actually come see us mm -hmm. at Wizard World Comic Con, yep. where we will be. You know what? I think we should help them get there. I think we should. Is there a way to give a discount? You know what? Like a promo code? There you go. Discount it is. If you use BWRA, we're gonna take off 10%? Does that sound good to you? Yeah. 10%? 10? Let's take it off 10%. Does it work? 10% off of your ticket for general admission prices. I don't even think it has to be specific today. Like you can do the whole weekend yeah. and take 10% yeah. off. So buy a package with boom. Boom. Any of the, the celebrities? Boom. Booyah. Yeah. Get it. And do all. It'll be awesome. All and it'll be all of the wait. All, all the Wizard That's all the Wizard Worlds? So it's not even like just Columbus? Dude. Okay, seriously, the look on my face is actual surprise. That's the gift that keeps on giving. I didn't even know that. That's amazing. Okay, so we're talking Wizard World Columbus. We're talking Chicago. Uh, we got Nashville coming up. Yo. This is a game changer. Listen, listen. There's Madison, and y'all didn't hear this from me. You didn't hear this from me. Yeah. Wizard World Austin mm -hmm. in November. You want to make it a Thanksgiving? Jason Momoa is going to be there. Yo, that's the weekend that Justice League drops. Can you imagine? You I only have to pay 10 per Like, you got 10% off, and you get to meet Jason Momoa during Justice League weekend? Jason Momoa. Jason Ma. Mo, uh, Aquaman, Kyle Droga. He throws axes for yeah. fun. He was Conan. He was 10% off. He was in Baywatch, Hawaii. Don't ask why I know this. Don't ask. There's some, there's some knowledge on the fruit tree you don't want to. 
you don't want to know about. Your low-hanging fruit now intrigues me, though. Mm. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Not gonna lie.